The role of preaching is extremely unique. When you think of the calling of God on a pastor, uh, his, his call is to be an ambassador. An ambassador was one who was sent or dispatched from the king to go into a town or to a city and he was to cry aloud and he was to call people to come together and he was to say or to deliver the, the specific message that the king had delivered to the people. And he was to do so with the authority of the king who had sent him. And so the ambassador's job was never to share his own heart or to give his own commentary or to give his own opinion about the decree of the king. He was to deliver the message of the king with the authority of the king, and it was to be received in that very way. And so the role of the preacher is the very same thing. The preacher's job is to stand before people and to deliver the message of God's truth, to preach the gospel of God. And so it's not the job of the preacher to ramble on and to tell his own commentary or to give his own ideas, but his job is to preach the word. And so when we think about robbing God's glory in the pulpit, that's a serious problem. And you start seeing this when you think about the fact that some preachers refuse to, to make the main point of the sermon, the main point of the text. But preaching is, is unique. It involves exposition. It involves, you know, application and illustration. But it's in those stories and applications that sometimes the preacher can become the hero of his own stories and his own sermon. And you certainly don't want that. In fact, when the preacher stands at the back door of the church on the average Lord's Day, it should not be that people come by and they're overwhelmed with his intellect or his power. In fact, it should be the opposite. The people should come by and they should thank the pastor because he's, he's pointed them to the power and the majesty and the glory of God in his preaching.